In this lecture, we'll codify some of this by describing the marketing concept itself. A basic philosophy that guides all marketing activities is what's called the marketing concept. That's the idea that an organization should try to satisfy its customers' needs through a series of coordinated activities that also to allow it to achieve its own goals. According to the marketing concept, a business must find out what consumers desire and then develop a good or a service or an idea that fulfills their needs or wants. The business must then get the product to the consumer, to the customer. In addition, the business must continually alter, adapt, and develop products to keep pace with changing consumer needs and wants. In other words, the marketing concept is that you organize the activities of the organization in ways that understand a customer need, build something that satisfies that need, continues to understand and evolve the, uh, their understanding of the need as well as their product and services, and you organize the activities in the organization to continue that relationship. That flows revenue into the company, that revenue flows value into the company, resources that can keep the organization going while making a profit for customers. That's the marketing concept. The key idea being the market drives the business. Trying to determine customers' true needs is increasingly difficult because no one fully understands what motivates people to buy things. Although customer satisfaction is the goal of a marketing concept, a business must also achieve its own objectives, such as boosting productivity, reducing costs, achieving a percentage of a specific market. If it does not achieve these own internal objectives, it will not survive. To implement the marketing concept, a firm must have good information about what consumers want and adopt the consumer orientation and coordinate its efforts throughout the entire organization to meet those customer needs. Otherwise, it may be awash with goods and services and ideas that consumers just do not want or need. Everyone in the organization who interacts with customers, all customer contact employees, must know what customers want. They are selling ideas, benefits, philosophies, and experiences, not just goods and services. Trader Joe's, which sells many different lines of organic and natural food products, is thought to have better deals than some of its competitors. The grocery chain attempts to meet customer needs for high quality food at reasonable prices. It's always trying to understand who its customers are, how they can get more customers, and make sure that they provide for that customer what that customer needs. They organize all their activity in the store, their supply chain, all the way back. That's the idea of the marketing concept. The marketing concept has developed over time. During the second half of the 19th century, that is the Industrial Revolution, was well underway. This phase of development represents the product orientation, that is, when during the Industrial Revolution. It focused on manufacturing goods with increasing efficiency. These were things nobody had, like a car or an air conditioning or even inside plumbing, indoor plumbing, those kinds of products. Everybody wanted them. It was pretty clear. They were satisfying uh, basic sanitary physical needs. People would buy as many as you could get. So the, all you had to do is try to bring down the price so people could uh, could afford them. Um, therefore, the focus during this production orientation cycle was around building efficiencies into the organization so you could get all of these really nifty things into people's hands at levels of cost that they could afford to pay a price, the, the appropriate price. In the, early 20, in the early 20th century, a sales orientation emerged. This was trying to um, increase the sales of various kinds of manufactured goods because now you were able to manufacture more goods than you needed. You had surplus goods, so you were trying to actually convince people to buy them. That was the sort of sales orientation in the uh, early 20th century. This, uh, this would allow people to have options to buy certain things. Finally, we came Finally, in the, two, in the 1950s, 
business people began to recognize that even efficient production and promotion and sales wouldn't guarantee that people would buy the product because it wasn't what they wanted or what they needed. So that these businesses and others since then have found that they must first determine what the customers want and then produce it rather than making products first and then trying to persuade customers that they need them. As more organizations realize the importance of satisfying customer needs, U.S. businesses entered what we call the marketing era. This is one where we have a, where we have a market orientation. This requires organizations to gather information about customer needs, share that information throughout the entire firm, and use it to help build long-term relationships with customers. Top executives, marketing managers, non-marketing managers, for example, those in production, finance, human resources, and so on, and customers all become mutually dependent and cooperate in developing and carrying out this market orientation. Non-marketing managers must communicate with marketing managers to share important information and understanding of what the customer is looking for and what the customer's needs are. Many companies are turning to technologies associated with customer relationship management. These are called CRM systems to help relationships and to boost business with existing customers. Trying to assess a customer's needs and what the customer wants is difficult to begin with. This is further complicated by the, the rate at which trends, fashion, and taste can change in today's connected world and connected economy. Businesses today want to satisfy customers and they build and to build meaningful relationships with them. It's more efficient and less expensive for the the company to retain existing companies and comp customers and even increase the amount of business they have with each customer than to find new customers every single day. The Nissan Leaf meets the needs of, of customers who, can, who care about the environment and wish to improve their environmental footprint by driving an electronic vehicle. Uh, the Nissan company extends the Nissan brand to its current Nissan customers by offering a service to meet the changing demands or desires or of some niche of its customers in its customer set. Of course, it also brings in new customers serving both the, the changing demands of its current customer base plus bringing in new customers. This is the idea of the marketing concept. The marketplace customers and their needs drive what the organization does. In order to do that, we need a strategy, and that's what we'll go into in the next lecture.